Hi, I'm Sherry Davenport from EMC's Data Protection and Availability Division. We understand how important it is to protect your mission critical applications, and in particular, the data that runs your business that resides in those applications. In this video, I will concentrate on Microsoft SQL Server. Microsoft introduced always-on availability groups in SQL Server 2012. Similar to database availability groups in Exchange, always-on availability groups provide a level of availability and protection for your production data residing in the database. This technology does not eliminate the need for sound backup and recovery solution for SQL Server data, though. While always-on availability groups provide high availability and mul multiple copies of your SQL data, the possibility for soft corruption to propagate all the copies of your database is still possible. However, always-on availability groups can be leveraged for more efficient backup of your database data and also provide a means for you to completely offload your backup I.O. from your production database instances. Let's take a closer look at how this is done. In a SQL always-on availability group environment, EMC Networker is integrated with SQL Server VSS APIs. And fully aware of the entire always-on availability group configuration in the cluster. With this intelligence, we can execute backups against the passive copies of the database rather than the active volumes which are serving up transaction I.O. This is a win-win since you can leverage unused resources hosting the secondary replica for the backup and also free up available processing and I.O. resources for your primary database replica. Networker's integration is taken one step further. The Networker module for Microsoft will will look for certain backup preferences that the DBA has specified from within the SQL Server Management Studio and follow those guidelines where to provide the backup. This gives the DBA the control on how databases are backed up while at the same time generalized control is still maintained by the backup administrator. The DBA has the ability to, to select from various modes depending on which member of the always-on availability group they would like to take backups from. Networker will intelligently look at these settings and scan for the database replica desired. This is especially useful in the event of the loss of a replica's availability or failure. In this example, the DBA has chosen the preference to only perform backups on the secondary replica by setting the backup preferences in SQL Management Studio to secondary only. During production on Tuesday, the secondary replica assigned to node 2 experienced a failure and is unavailable. On Tuesday night's backup, no further administration or change in backup directive is required. For the next backup, Networker will simply be aware of the failure and intelligently choose another secondary replica that is available for that database. As with all application aware backup agents deployed using Networker, it's the tight integration and intelligence about the application that provides you with the most consistent backup possible. Not only can you be assured that your backup will be application consistent, but you can also rest easy knowing that Networker offers the flexibility to meet your specific requirements while assuring you never miss another backup again. With our newly announced release of Networker 8.2, I want to highlight for you how we are extending our capabilities for Microsoft SQL Server, staying in lockstep with Microsoft SQL Server innovation and ensuring industry-leading protection for your SQL data. In SQL Server 2014, Microsoft is now supporting the ability to host your SQL always-on availability group database members in the Azure Public Cloud. This gives you the ability of either hosting your active or passive always-on availability group member off-premise. Networker 8.2 offers full support for SQL Server 2014 and also supports protection of the on-premise components of SQL always-on availability groups in, in hybrid cloud deployments. Let's review some of the typical deployment scenarios these new SQL, SQL capabilities bring to your environment. We'll start with what may be the most common deployment, which is hosting a secondary copy of the database in Azure for disaster recovery while still maintaining both a primary and secondary copy on-premise. 
for those already spanning an SQL Always On Availability Group deployment across geographic sites, you now have the option of deploying another secondary copy in Azure. And finally, you may choose to run your primary SQL database in Azure along with a secondary copy while re retaining yet another secondary in order to take advantage of on-premise data protection services. Networker can support all of these scenarios by providing on-premise data protection. So, if you have been hesitant to deploy hybrid cloud, you can now do so with SQL Server 2014, knowing that you have the full capabilities of Networker's backup and recovery available to you. Customers tell me that re retaining control of operations in the, in the event of an operational or disaster recovery scenario is paramount when leveraging public cloud compute and storage services. With Networker, supporting the latest in Microsoft application integration can assure that your data remains in control and protected. The hybrid cloud support for SQL Server 2014 I just described is available with both Networker 8.2 and Avamar 7.1. As part of the Networker 8.2 release, we are also further enhancing the backup and recovery control that DBAs themselves can leverage when using SQL Server Management Studio. With Networker 8.1, we introduced integration within SSMS. This integration provided a fully featured control panel allowing the DBA to execute full, incremental, and differential backups, as well as specify backup settings, such as performing a database consistency check before executing the backup. New with Networker 8.2, we are providing the ability for DBAs to also perform full function database recovery. We provide a feature-rich and flexible approach to performing recoveries including the ability to browse all cataloged restore points and to set various options to assure the recovery occurs within the least amount of impact to production. With many other backup and recovery solutions on the market today, performing the recovery operation requires access to the backup software console and usually means DBAs are dabbling in unfamiliar interfaces which can result in greater risk for error or they are making a recovery request to their backup administrator just to have to wait in line for results. Networker continues to remain in lockstep with support for the leading mission critical applications latest and greatest features to assure you have the access to the industry's most flexible and efficient data protection. For more information on EMC Networker and the other components of the EMC data protection suite, visit emc.com.